we really wanted to tell an honest version of this story. You know, we didn't want to glamorize this relationship. Hey there, it's Kristen, and today we are chatting with Blake Lee of Freeform's Cruel Summer. Can you tell us a little bit about Cruel Summer and your role in this project? Cruel Summer is a psychological thriller that takes place in the 90s, the best era ever. Um, and it follows the stories of two high school students, these two girls, Jeanette and Kate. And uh, in 93, Kate, the very popular, beautiful girl goes missing and the unpopular girl kind of takes her place. And the show is told non-linear, so we're kind of jumping from year to year, scene by scene. And uh, you kind of don't really know who's telling the truth ever. The one thing you do know from the beginning is that my character is not a very nice guy. He's a horrible uh, villain. And he um, he's this, he presents himself as this very nice uh, assistant principal that's new to the town. And uh, you soon learn that he is the reason that Kate is missing. Very, very sinister. I gotta say, this is a show that I've been like so anticipating, like all year, I was just like, you know, since last year waiting for this show to come yeah. out. Um, uh -huh. Cause I love a thriller mystery. And this yeah. is a show that like constantly keeps you guessing and you're trying to piece everything together. Like what is happening I next? Know. <laughs> it, we were like that reading the scripts honestly week to week we like didn't know we had an idea of where our characters were going but they were very secretive of like we would know where our character was going so I wouldn't know you know where Mallory's storyline or Vince's storyline went and so it's been really fun also to not only it was really great to read those scripts and, and figure it out but now watching them it's like, it's so cool to see everyone's storylines kind of unfold. Was there anything that like surprised you? Olivia Holt and I were in this little bubble, you know, 90% of my stuff was with her. So just seeing the like scope of everything has been so exciting and these massive scenes, you know, and how good everyone is. I'm just blown away by how talented this cast is. The thing also that like shocks me about the show is that, you know, you are tackling these different years and they are done non-linearly. So like you kind of are like in 1990, you know, four at one point, and then mm -hmm. you're, you're switching years all in the same episode. Was that ever confusing? Or um, like, how do you balance that when you're, yeah. when you're filming? I was lucky because I'm only in 93 and 94, but yeah, I mean, there were days where Olivia or, you know, any of the younger actors, um, you know, Kiara and Elias, they, they would literally be like, in the hair and makeup trailer all day long because it's like wigs and makeup and like you know looking having them uh, transform into these different years and it was definitely I think it took some getting used to for everybody but the wigs and the makeup and the cost like really really helped I think especially with Olivia and Kiara's characters because they're so each year is so specific um so that was really helpful. But um, no, we also had like a great team of people just kind of like, there was like a Bible of like, this is what's happened at this point, you know? And, and so anytime we needed to go, there was our, our onset writer uh, was this woman named Heather Robb. And she would kind of, we before each scene, we would go to her and go like, okay, like, so X, Y, and Z has happened. And, you know, this is where I am mentally in this, at this moment. And and so that was extremely helpful. You work really closely with Olivia Holt. Um, I would love to know what it was like for you guys working together. And also, I mean, you're playing a character that, you know, it, it's a pretty dark role. And unfortunately, I think something that, you know, happens to young women. Um, mm -hmm. So what was that like kind of tackling uh, that kind of experience? It was scary at first, you know, to because you want when dealing with such a real and heavy subject matter you want to be truthful and you want to do it respectfully and honestly um so it was a it was a lot of conversations that Olivia and I had with each other and that we would have with our directors and the writers um and so it was extremely collaborative which was really really nice um but also it was really refreshing and we really wanted to tell an honest version of this story. You know, we didn't want to glamorize this relationship. 
you know? You, we wanted the audience to see my character grooming her and manipulating her and, and, and really, we don't want, the audience shouldn't, you know, root for this love story or this story, um, you know, which I think is, is the case with a lot of movies and TV shows in the past where you, you do, you're rooting for this, you know, person in a power position or this older person who's taking advantage of a younger, less powerful person. Often, you know, people were told to root for that story. And, and, and that wasn't something that Olivia and I wanted to sign on to or be a part of. And, and we were very lucky that this uh, show wasn't show, you know, wasn't portraying that. So, so I think, you know, just immediately we were all on the same page creatively. Um, but yeah, it was definitely tough at times to go to those dark places. We would, um, Olivia and I would do a lot of work outside of, you know, on the weekends or on our days off and we would discuss the upcoming scenes and where we were mentally, where our characters were, um, what they were going through and what they had been through at that point, which was really, really helpful. So that when we would get to work on the day, it was like, we could just kind of dive right in. But there was, you know, I think when you're dealing with this subject matter um, like this, we really had, we, we stayed in it as much as we could in those scenes, but then we would, you know, we would go and have lunch together and kind of decompress and just be like, try to separate ourselves from it, you know, because it's really, it's a, it's a dark place to live for those, those months, you know, um, but there were definitely days where, where they were really emotional scenes where, you know, we would both just have heads, headphones on and kind of do, doing our own thing and, and kind of, you know, trying to stay in it because to go in and out of it's kind of hard. I really liked what you said about how, um, you know, in this show, you guys are kind of bringing that reality of like, this is not okay. Whereas mm -hmm. in some other shows or movies, people like kind of glamorize those relationships. Cause I think as we kind of progress as a society, people are realizing this is something that people accepted before that's actually not okay. And you guys are yeah. showing that kind of transition in society is like, we shouldn't be shipping this. This is, yeah. this is not a cool relationship. For sure. And I think, I think that so often, you know, you think you know people and you think you, you know, people present themselves. Martin is presenting himself as this kind, trustworthy person to Kate. And um, I think that that is often the case in, in these situations, you know, in real life when people are being groomed, they think that this, that the people, you know, truly care about them and, and, and that they can trust these people. And so I think, I think doing as honest of a depiction of that as we could um, was what we set out to do. And, and I, and I watching it now, I think, I think that we've, you know, done a good job at that. I think also the, the, the Kate scenes with her therapist are really wonderful because, you know, it shows Kate's character kind of still struggling with it. You know, I mean, Martin got really, really manipulated her and gaslit her and uh, in all of that grooming, it really, really messed her up. So to see her character continuing to deal with it even after he's dead you know um and how much trauma that creates um i think that the i was very very pleased that they that they chose to bring in the therapy aspect as well because i think that you know in these situations it's not once that person's out of the situation it's not it's you, you have to do a lot of work i think to you know get truly let it go and, and get out of it. So I think the show has done um, a really good job at that. Really important messages, I think, um, wrapped up in this really thrilling, exciting, kind of like, what is happening? Yeah, um, it's a lot of very grown up um, subject matters and situations that we're dealing with, you know, on like a show based in a high school setting, for sure. It's getting a little lighter. Was there was there any, you know, fun onset moments or memories that you had while filming with this cast? It was the best cast. I mean, it was, you know, we were doing the psychological thriller, but yes, there were so many. Kiara was obsessed with pranking people. Like her job in like, she was like, 
yes, my job is to be an actor, but like, I'm really here to prank. Like she just wanted to like play jokes on everyone. She like did this thing where she would like put clothes pins and pin things to people's clothes when they were, you know, walking by and like you'd see like half the crew had like clothes pins with things dangling them, you know, from them. Like she just was so silly. So she was really, really fun. And, and also I just think we were shooting the show during COVID. So it was really uh, important that we, bonded we were shooting also on location in Dallas and and so we became this little family so it was it was really really nice to um kind of separate ourselves from the heaviness of the show and you know on the weekends we would all just have game nights and you know we were all being tested on the same cycle so we could hang out in our little bubble which was really really special and I think I think you know, we got closer because of it. I think had we not shot the show in a pandemic and not on location, it would have been a, a totally different experience. And I think that all of um, those experiences really helped everyone's chemistry for sure on the show. Oh, that's awesome. That sounds really fun. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And, you know, congrats on the show. It's it's wild. I can't, I cannot stop watching. I can't wait for you to see the end. I'm really, really excited. I can't wait. <laughs> if you like this one, you can check out more of my interviews right over here and I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.